Hello and welcome back to more Factorio, not 15 mini mega base, I don't know what we're calling this real world, all kinds of nonsense campaign. Uh, we have been working on our um, make anything for a little while, we've got uh, it in really good shape now. I really do love, 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 love the, um, the two belt splitter underground design. So no long inserters needed, you can use uh, fast inserters, you can use stack inserters. It's fantastic, I love it. Um, when you have things like this where you want to go deep because you have things like yellow belts to red belts or that, that upgrade where you want to go deep, um, you can run a second thing back, you can run undergrounds under chests, like I, I just, I, I like it, I like it a lot. We've got a good little design going on. Looks like we've used up most of this stone, but we've basically filled up our entire chest with rail for the moment. So we're in good shape there. We're definitely in okay shape for doing rails. We got lots of signals, lots of chain signals. We got 10 train stations. Hey, I got 20 tools. You know what? Let's grab uh, let's grab 10 of those. There. Now I got 12 tools on me. Our miners are good to go. We've got radar. I could start putting that down. I mean, I don't know where any of the biters are. That might be a good idea. We're in we're in mighty good shape is what we're in. Mighty good shape in order to start building. Um, I mean, our resource shape, let's take a peek at that real quick. Uh, we have a million iron ore. We have access to tons of iron ore around us. This one, though, the one that's feeding our steel, looks like it's starting to deplete a little. There's another 403,000 up here. There's more over here. There's coal over there. We have more copper over here and our copper here, but we, we're going to have to expand, basically. If we want to get any more throughput, we are going to have to expand. Let's take a quick peek at this iron ore. Uh, the one that's fueling our steel, real quick. Because it does look like, oh yeah, it's starting to deplete all right, isn't it? Holy crap, skis, it is really starting to deplete. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see the little X, they're marked for deconstruct, that's a mod. When the drill has nothing left to drill, it automatically marks it for deconstruct. So that's going to reduce the amount of steel we're going to be getting, because it's going to reduce the amount of iron that we're feeding into it. Yeah, see, this isn't quite a full belt of iron ore that we're feeding in. It's pretty close, though. So we're in okay shape still, as far as that's concerned. And nothing there is bottlenecking. It looks like it's all green and producing, so... Okay, so housekeeping things. What do I want to talk about before we get going today? Uh, first, I have doubled our green circuit production because remember I said the green circuits are falling behind a little bit. We want to double this production up and we did so. So now we have eight facilities building. I love this design. I love the double iron coming in, the double circuits going out. It means you can expand this way back. Well, not way back, but you can expand it back a good amount and not run into throughput problems. You do use a lot of copper on these two belts, but there are ways around that. You can run a second belt of copper in and just like uh, end one of them and then swap the second one in, in, in its place. You can do all kinds of stuff for that. I have uh, moved this warehouse. The warehouse was originally um, right about here and I transferred everything into this temporary warehouse and it looks like it's all done now. Although there's stuff not on the... Yeah, that, that's silly how, how loaders do that. And then I put uh, the original warehouse back down over here and transferred everything back into it. The reason we did this warehouse swap is because I wanted to have room underneath this warehouse for two more belts of iron to come out. Um, I didn't want to bring them out on top because I you know, need the two spaces in between our belt arrays. So I wanted to bring them out on the bottom. I'm not actually afraid of running a six wide belt anymore. I used to, I used to say buses should always be four wide, but the thing about that is Vanilla now has red belts with a six distance, just like that. So that's not necessary anymore. That that's n like I never used to play with the mods that did that. I, I I had in the past a couple times, but I never really preferred that as one of the mods we played with. So I never used it. I always had the belts are four length, but red belts by default have six length now. So we can go for six wide buses and be perfectly happy with it. So we can just you know hammer 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 time this iron bus all that we want and all will be well in the world today we're working on science and i think we're going to do that below the bus and i think we're going to do that so we'll give a good amount of space maybe out like here we'll start science out in this neighborhood maybe a little bit more maybe uh maybe like over here does that look like it's on good level i wish there was x and y court is there is there actually an option um, how do I do this? Uh, what key do I have to know? That's for this thing. Um,
it's not in here. What do I have to do to get into my options? Uh, use groups, subgroups, automatic. Is it uh, like tilde or something? Resume. No, that opens up that. Uh, it is, I don't know what it is offhand. That gets you the like display of all of the stuff you can do. I don't remember what the key to bring that up is at the moment, but, uh, or is it in here? Production statistics, bonuses, tutorials, trains, achievements. No, it isn't. I'll figure it out eventually, and when I do, I will check to see. Maybe there is like an actual XY coordinate uh, readout display. I don't think there is. There is the FPS and um, UPS one, but we haven't needed that. Okay, so we are going to need to produce some red science, uh, and red science, of course, is just copper plates and iron gear wheels, nice and easy to get. So we will uh, not do anything special with this. Yeah, we're not going to make iron gear wheels on site or anything like that. We're just going to go one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Let's not build a ratio. Let's just build six of these things because six of them looks pretty. Six of them looks pretty compared to uh, to five. Um, and then let's build ourselves six green science ones. Green science is going to require inserters and um, do, 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 do belts. So green science, let's also just build six of them. Why not, right? Like there's no reason why we can't just build six more. Um, and in fact, what we could do is something like this one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll just have you know nice even green and red science production going on. I apologize for how dark it is. Unfortunately, we uh, we don't have lights out over here. So we'll run a belt right through this. They're going to output onto that. You're going to get your inputs coming in through here. So we're going to need a combined input for you. That's going to have a copper and iron gear wheels on it. So let's uh, let's just start running that right now. Something like this. And where do we like to merge? Apparently we like to merge right here, so let's do this and uh, make that happen, like so. And then we just need copper and iron gear wheels and we've got uh, red science up and running. So for this other science though, I'm going to need to get inserters in there, and inserters basically need gear wheels, uh, iron, and um, um, doobie 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 circuits like this. Also, I'm going to need belts in, and those are going to need iron and gear wheels. So we basically do this exact same thing, and then we produce that, and then we feed it here, and then we do something, and then we profit, right? That's the way this works. Pretty sure that is the way this works. So in order to achieve that, what we're going to do is bu 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 do some more factories here. Do I want to just do like that? I could totally just do like that. I am going to produce iron gear wheel. No, I'm not going to produce iron gear wheels here. We're going to import them off of the bus. So what we could do is something along the lines of uh, this and uh, just run up and over and down, for example. That would take care of that, no problem. I mean, it would be a little bit messy. We'd be using more space over here that we don't need to use. That's that's not ideal. Not ideal. I'm not gonna lie. It's not uh, it's not perfect for this situation. Oh oh, you know what we could do though. Ah, uh, that'll look awkward. That'll look really awkward. Never mind. We're not going to do that either. Uh... <laughs> I can think of a few ways that I would want to do this, and I don't want to do any of it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, I could do some underground belt shenanigans to make this in tighter. So you're going to get your resources coming in through this belt, but you actually only need to access them in a couple of spots. And then we can add his resources coming in on that side. No, he's going to need two belts for his resources coming in. Um, what if we build off-site and just send a belt down? Then we don't have to, you know, do anything like that. Where would I build off-site? I could build right in here. I could build all of the non-actual science pack things that I need for science packs 
in this section, for example, and then just have the science pack factories here, and then bus it all in. I could do that. That's a possibility. Hmm. I've never done that before. That's sort of like taking the make anything sort of thing where we actually, you know, put all these things together and then we just bus all the stuff that we need in. That could be pretty cool. Uh, do I want to do that is the question. Because, I mean, like just for what I have now, I would need inserters, transport belts, piercing rounds, grenades, gun turrets, all kinds of that stuff. I don't know if I want to do that. What if I move this further down and I start just building that? Yeah, you know what? Let's not actually build the science yet. Let's not build the science yet, guys. Let's let's experiment a little. Let's do something differently. Let's go outside of the box and shake a things up a little a bit from how we usually handle things. Are these trees dying already? These trees are dying already from pollution. That would tell me that we're polluting a lot. And if we're polluting a lot, that would tell me I'm expecting biter attacks any time now. Like, we have a very large start zone, but a very large start zone means diddly when you've got lots and lots of biters in the world. I mean, we don't have lots and lots of biters in the world. We have totally average amount of them. But, uh, I mean, eventually they're going to attack, and we're going to hear the alarm bells of aliens, and I am not going to be pleased. Maybe we can call XCOM. Would XCOM come and help us? I doubt they would. I mean, they're on a different planet. We're on, like, some alien world. But who knows, maybe they want to stick it to the alien menace. So if we want to do this the way I'm thinking we might want to do this, then let's just go simple. Like, super, super duper simple sauce. We're going to have stuff on belts, which is going to look redonkulous. But let's go down a little bit further than we usually do, so we have room to bust stuff through on, like, sort of a miniature kind of bussy thing and let's uh let's just drop let's just drop some stuff down let's drop uh these down like this and we'll just say you know you are um you are what you're going to be transport belt and you're going to be inserter just like that and we're going to dump things out here and we're just going to run run the shit right into them actually do i want to do it that way i don't have to do it that way if i do it that way then i have to have two separate inputs I don't want two separate inputs, so I can just do it this way, and uh, then I have inputs coming one way, yeah, no, 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 one more down, one more down. There we go. Then we have inputs coming in on one side, so what we'll do for the inputs is you're going to need both iron and iron gear wheels, and I think we're going to do the exact same setup that we did here, where we have gear wheels and circuits on one and iron on another. So if you're going to need iron and iron gear wheels, we're just going to put a, a splitter in like so. Uh, I guess you don't really need that, do you? And we'll run an underground belt like so. And we will just come up to here and come up to here, and you're good to go. That's all we're going to need to do. And then we will put a belt down the side like this and take it straight out. And that's going to get bust into our shit. And we're gonna be good. That is our that is our production facility for um, green science. And then we build another thing over here to start producing ammo and turrets and all of that kind of stuff for military science. And I mean, the problem with this setup is I'm gonna have to build the science packs up above. I think if I do this, because if I build them down below all of the materials that are used for them are going to get in the way. Like, I don't know how far out I'm going to have to build them. Hmm, intriguing. Okay, well, let's set, let's set up the military science pack stuff then. Since I have this built, this is, this is all the footprint that's going to be required for red science packs. I'm going to have a whole bunch on a belt that comes through and goes into wherever I build them. Um, let's build the footprint for the military science packs and for that we need piercing rounds we need granadas and we need gun turrets i do want to do the big heavy duty like full on i'm a friggin boss uh build for piercing rounds so that is going to be two piercing round magazine factories and six um regular ammunition factories regular ammunition uses just iron plates piercing rounds uses steel and copper and regular ammunition so uses one firearm mag and that is one firearm mag every one second this uses one firearm mag every three seconds 
So actually, wait, did I have that backwards? I can get three of those factories off of one of those. Did I have my ratio completely reversed on me? I need one firearm factory, which will produce one firearm mag every one second. And that can feed three piercing round magazine factories. Okay, so that's it. So it's going to be six piercing round magazine factories with two regular firearm factories going into it. So to make that happen, I'm going to need a belt that has steel plates and copper plates. I'm going to need a belt that has iron plates, and then uh, we are good to go. So let's uh, get this all set up to begin with, and I think uh, we're going to do it something like this. So that's going to be one, one, two, three, and then in the middle, one, one, two, three, just like that. Do I want them like this? You know what? No, I don't want them like this. I want them even spaced because that's going to allow me to do our double belting trickeroony if we need to do it. So we will even space these guys. You guys are going to be uh, piercing rounds or regular rounds. I guess we can make you the regular rounds. And then you guys are going to be the piercing rounds just like that. Regular rounds are just going to need iron coming into them, and I think we can just do that in the center, can we? Well, it depends what direction we want to run this. If we want to run this up, then no, we can't do that in the center. So I could just do it on the sides, and then i got to move in. I don't even need to do it on the sides. I can like load it right in the front of these guys. That's an intriguing idea. Bring one belt out, then split it, and then go either way. I think we probably did that in the last one. Okay, that's what we're going to do then. Let's uh, bring one belt here. Let's not actually run it out to the center. Let's run it somewhere like over here. And what we'll do is uh, just this. <laughs> like literally, that's all that we are going to do with it. You know what, there, you can have it there too. And then we will connect like that. And that will fill both of these with iron. Because we don't need it for this. Uh, we will have the outputs coming out this way. And what do we do with this then? All I need is steel and copper coming in, right? Steel and copper coming in because we are going to do some shenanigans with the other ammunition. So to make that work, that is the shenanigans with the other ammunition, we're going to need to go underneath on these sides like this. I'll, I'll, I'll run that other underground as well just in case we need it like so, and then the outer belts are going to just connect straight through. Yeah, fine. Go right to the end. Why not? And you'll go right through just like that, and then we're going to want to connect Yusa and Yusa and Yusa and Yusa, and then that's going to be yellow ammunition there. on these two belts, which will feed into these guys, and then that's going to be the steel and copper on these two belts, which will feed into these guys, and we're all good to go. That is everything. That's all that we need. We should probably get our inserters going, though. You need from both of these belts. Yes, you do. And you are going to also need from both of these belts, are you not? Yeah, so you do need that. Um, you do actually need a uh, splitter here because you need to pull off of both of these belts as well. And then you're going to feed there, you're going to feed there. And that's good. We can power you up, although we're not actually powering you up, but you know what I mean when I say this. I hope you know what I mean when I say this, because if I don't know what I mean when I say this, that's, uh, that's just crazy sauce. We're going to put two lights, because you know we're super duper trooper on our lights. And then we are going to start dropping in some power here and some lights here, like so, and uh, some inserters here, like so, on the middles, why not? And then for you guys, you're going to need to output, sure, there's fine, and then you've got to input off of both of these belts and both of these belts. And then we are just going to output right out the back. Actually, no, not you. 
My bad. I just broke a factory that I didn't need to break. Uh, let's put you down and whoopsie daisy. Copy you over. There we go. All right. So I think this factory is done. It's good. It's set. It's ready to go. All we need to do is connect the stuff and it is golden. And of course, to connect the stuff, though, I need to do merges here. So these merges have to be what? Copper and steel, right? Yes, copper and steel is what we need to merge into here to make this happen. So let's just do them here. I don't see why not. I don't know why we have to run up uh, any further than this. There we go. So that is going to take care of that. Let's put a temporary power pole here and here. And apparently, you know what that one should do because it connects all the way through there. We're going to put a temporary power pole there just to light this whole neighborhood up. And uh, that's good. So this is going to get us red science. It's going to get us green science. It's going to be one third of military science. What's the rest of military science? It is gun turrets and granadas. And granadas are coal and iron plates. I don't have coal being bussed. I do have iron plates. We, we're going to be bussing coal in order to do this. I don't want to take it from my power supply, though. So we're probably going to set up a new set of coal for this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. Um, let's get these things going, and then let's get red and green science fully automated and call it a day on those at the very least. Uh, and I think, yeah, we're probably going to build science above the bus, like maybe over here. So that I've got room for red circuits and maybe some blue circuits as well. And then some science. I might have to rebuild science at some point. Okay. You need to be everything. You need to be gear wheels. You need to be circuits. You need to be um, iron. So let's get all of that in here. The iron one is nice and easy. It just connects straight in like this. The other two are not so easy. We are going to have to do some kind of shenanigans to make them work. And those shenanigans are going to happen right here because that's apparently where we do this. So let's just do that now. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to do the same thing with iron like we did before. Either that or do something else to make this connect. But we're going to make this go like so. And... Yeah, this is the right tile, so we want to go from here to here, and from here to here, and then these guys, we have to skip through both of them again, so we're going to go from here to here, and the gears don't actually need to go through, but we are going to need to put a thingamabobber right here to here, right, no, one more, here to here, and then we're going to need to uh, feed into this one more from here to here. I think that is everything that we need for undergrounds to make this work. I was doing it in an abstract way uh, from a distance, so I'm not sure that everything is correct there, but we will find out very soon. Is that That's actually the last of the yellow belt I have on me. fan frickin -tastic. It's okay. It's okay, we've got lots more yellow belt available. So it's not a big deal, it's just, you know, a colossally big deal. That's all. Just a colossally big deal. Not 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 a not a huge deal or anything like that. You are going to need to go there and down into this like so. And that should allow me to connect this gear wheel belt up. And we'll connect this up. I do want to get more gear wheels on this belt. I kind of want to have a second uh, belt of them. It'll be very interesting. I wonder if these are using exactly half of these belts. I could put another one mirrored onto this side. And then um, have them merge their belts into here. And then split them. And then run through. That's a possibility. But I mean, these gear wheels are actually splitting to half belt down here. So it's not like I need more of it right now. This very second. It's deceptive how much we're using because they actually come to a half a belt in these positions, but whatever. Uh, okay, you're fine. So that's gear wheels, that's circuits. We need to get some iron in here as well now. And the iron just needs to connect, like, right here, right? I think that's where the iron needs to go. 
Definitely looks like I'm right about where the iron needs to go. I seem to be right about where the iron needs to go. And let's do this shenanigan with you again. And there's you, and that's fine. Iron is flowing, which is great. All of your stuff is done. So this should get us uh, belts and um, inserters onto this belt here, ready to go for séance. Oh, you need another pole for those, don't you? That's really lame. Well, you know what then? I'm going to put poles there instead. And we're going to put your inserters there instead. There we go. Success! These are ready to go. So we can get our green uh, science going. But before we do that, let's just really quickly drop in this stuff. So this stuff has to be copper and steel, copper and steel, and this is iron. So that's nice and easy to do for the iron at least. So to make the iron happen, let's just uh, come right on up here like this. I'm almost out of splitters on me. Wow. Actually, I am out of splitters because I have to remerge this line and then uh, draw these on or through. There we go. Let's pick up some more splitters while we're at it. I like how this stuff is nice and close to where we're working as well. That's not what I wanted. These are what I wanted. Regular old yellow splitters. I have 33 red splitters still, so we're fine in that regard. Um, here's the iron. It's going to go into these things. It's going to make this kind of ammo. All will be well with the world. I mean, we could merge this ammo onto both belts, but we don't have to do that. Let's get ourselves our... You know what? We only need to merge once to make this happen, and then we could split it across. Yeah, we don't have to do this merge twice for these. We only have to do it once, and then we will run it under here and just go straight in. So this is going to be uh, steel and copper. So to make the steel happen, let's do it... Uh, let, let me run... Um, let me run this stuff up first, because I don't know what tile I need to make that happen on. Uh, so right here to there, and then the steel is going to come right in. So let's just run belt up, and steel is going to split here. Move down. Go. Go. You're awesome. Good job. Who's awesome? You're awesome. Who's awesome? You're awesome. Now the copper is like a million miles away back here. I really should get... Has the mod that lets you just, um, like, paint down uh, belts the way you could paint down train tracks uh, being updated yet? Because if it's being updated, I would definitely appreciate that one. You know, we ran you both through without realizing that, hey, yeah, I need to go underground here because there's copper running in this neighborhood. So let's, uh, let's correct that real quick. Because these guys really need to go underground here. Whoops. We broke the wrong thing. There we go. There. Done. It's fixed. No problemo. It's fine. No. Uh, move into here. Move into here. And I think uh, this tile right... Oh, that's bad. Is it? No, that's not bad. We're okay. It's in just the right spot. And we're going to go underground uh, here and come up here. Well, no, that is a problem, isn't it? Yes, sirree, that is a problem because I want to merge over there. Oh, well, I guess we're just going to be a little not so pretty. Actually, I could have done that. Why didn't I do that? Why did I build that in the wrong spot? I guess I'm just blind is all. And then down and uh, down. And that's going to be copper and steel. So, I think we should be... <laughs> we're going to do this. This is super duper silly. There is no reason that you need to do this. It It's just, you know... We're going to have an entire belt full of this stuff instead. Because I just want to do it. There we go. Um, and yeah, these are making piercing ammo. They're actually sticking it out onto a no belt here. So let's uh, let's put some of this down. That's looking good. That is looking mighty good. I'm actually going to drop a steel chest here. 
and we are going to start uh, snatching up some of this piercing ammo. I'm not getting any on this... Oh, right. No wonder I'm not getting any on that side. That makes perfect sense. Why would I be getting any of this on this side when I don't actually have it connected into there yet? So what I'm going to do to make this happen is actually cut this and this, and then we are going to cut this back a couple tiles and build this down again. I have to build it up like that. If I separate here, I can get under this. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Now I can get rid of this tile. And I need to put a splitter in right here, which works like a charm. And then we're going to go this way and go underground. And you probably want to go down like that. There we go. So copper and steel coming in, that's going to get us piercing rounds coming from both sides. We're going to chest it up in here. I, I mean, I don't need tons of piercing ammo for myself, so let's just make four stacks of it. That is tons, though. And uh, there, piercing ammo is on the go. Good. This is going to be more than enough that I need for science. We're just going to run it right up over here and up and out, basically. Just like we're going to run this right up and up and out, basically. This is actually really awkward, though, because... I don't have a place to run these on the bus. Well, I could just run them up above this, and we can have the red circuits built further back. That's always a possibility. Okay, so let's start building the science. And the science, I'm going to start building up over here, and I'm going to build it really, really far away from everything. And to that end, we're going to go one, two, three four, five, six, and then we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to say screw ratios. The ratios aren't even true anyway. People always say the ratios for science, and uh, they're, they're totally, um, you know, because this takes five seconds to make, um, you, you use five of those, and this takes six seconds, and it makes a nice perfect ratio. That's not freaking true. Look at the text. I mean, it might take me a while to find one of the texts. Like, yeah, there, there, I had one. I had one. Where the hell? Okay. I don't know what tech I was looking at now. But I had one that illustrates my point, and I was clicking so fast that I clicked off. This one illustrates the point, sort of. Two reds, two greens, one blue. I had one that had uh, different ratios of reds to greens, and that's what I wanted to illustrate, the different ratios of reds to greens on some of them. If the tech has different ratios, which a lot of these earlier ones don't, but a lot of the later ones do have different ratios for their packs, for fuck's sake. See, these ones have hugely different ratios for all the different packs, not just reds and greens or whatever, but everything. When they have different ratios, it completely throws all of that off. Also, maybe I'm going to do some uh, military research, and I'm going to need red, green, and black, and then I'm going to do some, uh, you know, like high-tech research or something, and I'm going to need these. Then I don't need military, right? So the ratios are not actually true. That's, just, that, that's bullshit. They're not true. You don't have to adhere to them. You, 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 it's fake news. It's fake news is what it is. <laughs> uh, what a meme. And I am a person who does not like using the term meme. So, what do we need here? Right, we need gears and we need copper plates. We can do this on one belt. We don't need to make it a uh, like special merge or anything like that. We can also do this one on one belt. We don't need to use any kinds of crazy crap to make that one happen. So let's just do this. Uh, we don't need fast inserters for this, but we will use them, because why the hell not when you have them, right? I, I'll tell you why the hell not, because they use more power, that's why the hell not. Also, I'm running out of them. Let's go get us some more fast inserters. Tee -hee 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 -hee. That's them right there. 50 more, please. Thank you very much. Very, very much. Alright, so we need to get copper and iron gear wheels onto this one. And to make copper and iron gear wheels go onto this one, we are just going to uh, side merge the way we always do. 
And this one, we are also going to side merge the way we always do, but we're going to side merge two totally different things. They are going to be electronic circuits, not electronic circuits, inserters. And, oh, I don't need to side merge this, actually. Never mind. I don't even need to side merge that because the belt that we're making has everything on it in the right numbers already. So all we need to do is send this up there and it's good to go. So let's just uh, make that happen then, shall we? So you're going to come all the way up to here. This is where the copper is. We're going to run underneath the copper. So build an underground belt like this. Then we're going to run underneath this because there's room for two more belts here. And then we're going to run underneath this. Now we are in virgin territory. He 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 he. And we're going to run straight across like this. And straight up like that. Done. It is sorted, ladies and gentlemen. Our belts and inserters are up to science, and it's fine. It's fantastic, even. The other ones we can just pull right off the bus, and this is going to be copper and iron gear wheels. So let's make that happen. We'll just uh, stretch out the iron gear wheels a little ways. We'll stretch out the copper a little ways, and we'll uh, make everything else fit later. But uh, to make this work first, let's put our iron gear wheels through in this position right here, just like that. And then the copper is going to be two tiles forward from that, so that's going to be one, two, like that. And that should line up with us. If it doesn't line up, you know, heaven help us, because it better line up. Let's go underground, and we're just going to do a full four on skip underground, because we never know what we're going to run through here from our little uh, science uh, intermediates manufacturing area, and everything is good. It all worked. Check that out. We are geniuses, aren't we? Oh yes, we are. We need to come up to here, and we need to re-merge the copper line. There we go. Also, we should probably run the steel line up now. We should just get the entire bus up to this position, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. And let's run the iron up. And let's run the circuits up as well. well. Let's just get everything that we currently have sitting on this bus up into an appropriate position. There we go. And check that out. Check that out. We're good to go. Let's put in some power poles real quick. Uh, do I put them on the outside? I don't need to put them on the outside for these ones, so I'm not going to. And then let's put in some lights, because I'm all about the lights. I don't like to not be able to see at nights. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, yeah, you saw what I did there. I am so freaking terrible. Uh, let's put a power pole in here, I suppose. We might end up moving that, but for now that should do us. And we'll put it down over here. And then we'll run it along under this. And yeah, you should be able to just put right there. Power is running, science is producing, and we should be good to a go. I don't know where I want to put this science just yet, but let's uh, let's run it up uh, this way. You know why not? Let's uh, let's run it up this way. And yeah, we don't need fast inserters, but once again, why the hell not? Because again, more power production if we need, if we use fast inserters. So it would actually be better not to use them. And done! Red and green science on the belt. Thank you for tuning into this one, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get military science finished in the next one. We probably wouldn't have gone over a half hour if we didn't spend time working on this. Or maybe we would have. I don't freaking know. But uh, we will get to that all sorted next time. And uh, I hope to see you there.